I should probably mention that I'm not doing this to tidy up the field. I'm very lucky in the sense that somebody's come to cut the grass today. And it's a nice dry day. I've got a good field to cut grass. And I can collect it and use that to improve my clay soil that I've recently flattened out. So uh, clay soil is not very good, it's too dense. So the more organic matter I pile on top of that, the more decomposing new soil will be able to regenerate over the years. So it's not going to be ideal for this year. But give it another year, maybe another. If I keep adding to that, I can create a good amount of topsoil that is good. If I mix that with compost, three planters starting to take shape. Something is eating my lettuce. Look at that lettuce. Could it be this guy? Is this guy my lettuce eating thief? Maybe he knows I'm watching him. Or he's full because he's eaten so much lettuce already. Not only my lettuce leaves have been eaten, but my beetroot leaves have definitely been eaten. Woo! I fell down my hole. So this bed has an awful lot of life happening in, happening in it now. It's doing incredibly well. But unfortunately my knowledge isn't very good. So I'm not sure if it's doing really well with weeds or really well with what I've planted. So these are radish, definitely. Um, they look like they're doing well but there isn't a single hole, uh, sorry, there isn't a single leaf that isn't punctured with many, many, many holes. Same for these guys over here. Definitely radishes, but definitely found to be tasty by the natural wildlife around here. This is definitely an onion. Barney says, Mum, I put my ball down and you're not throwing it. It's not very fun. He doesn't like me to see where he puts it. It's like a hide and seek game. I've left my ball for you somewhere. Find it and throw it, he says. <laughs> so here's my other planter. A lot of greenery happening here too. So the main bits of green that you can see are tomatoes and lettuce. The only nettle in the, uh, sorry, the only weed in this one seems to be nettles, and I can easily identify those. So Barney's put his ball down. Now that I wasn't looking. <laughs> Maybe. He's a sniffer dog. He doesn't watch where you put it. He just looks. <laughs> Tries to smell. He's got some sort of smell. He's like, oh, I think it hit a tree over here. You can go track that. It hit that tree. Good boy! <laughs> I just was pulling out a weed and I found this grub. He definitely would eat my plants. So I'm going to take him out. I'm not sure what with, he's making me a bit squirmish. on this gigantic thistle. <laughs> We've got a pea down here. A pepper. He's doing really well. Another pea. Tomatoes. Got a little clump of grass here. Some more peas. And some more 
more tomatoes. That's over here, we've got our onions. I think this one, I'm not totally sure, but I think this one might be like a, a broccoli, hopefully. <laughs> a lettuce that's been ravaged. Another lettuce that's been ravaged. Well, those red lettuces are oh, struggling. Good boy. Can you go this way? Ready? compost um, and what's just below it should be good soil <laughs> as it builds up over time. These trees are quite young in the last 20 years so there might not be incredible soil under here but this will be so much better than the clay. The last layer I put on my new planting area was grass, so freshly cut green grass and this is now going to form a brown layer. So you should really do it as a green layer, a brown layer, a green layer, a brown layer. And that will help it all decompose and add the right nutrients to the soil. Because I can't remember which one it is, I'm a real novice. But one of them adds nitrogen to the soil, another one adds phosphorus, and all the bits you need together. the quad had made it to the barn. I'm not sure the trailer would make it that route. Unfortunately this route also isn't an option. I'm not sure this gate has been open in several years. I don't think that's a gate that gets opened. I think you're supposed to walk through there and get over there. 
which is where I could easily get to. This gate here, I know opens, but this one doesn't. So what I'm thinking of doing is opening this gate, backing the trailer up to this gate, and just carrying it over. Probably the best plan. <laughs> so I'm now on the other side of the gate, and really annoyingly I've backed it up, ready to go through the gate. And of course, the gate opens this way. <laughs> Time to move it again and hope my reversing is just as good next time. <laughs> oh, we didn't do too badly at all, did we, Barney? Trailer backed up nicely, as close as I can get to that gate. And then the plant, Barney, can you come on back here, please? Barney, come on back through. Wait, come on through, please. Come on back through. Good boy. I'm going to go this way. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to throw the hay onto that trailer. And drive on out. It's just a little bit of a walk to the barn. But it'll be fine. So I've come to the back of the barn. And I've actually found another route. There's a track here I can take. And go round a different way and come in on the quad. Because it's really going to be a mission to carry this to the trailer. I would if I didn't see another option. But... There's another option. So the effort is not necessary. And look, there's a dying hay bale over there. I bet they'd love me to take that off their hands. <laughs> yes, yeah, so sand on the ground with some hay on top. Now, it's quite sparse over here, but towards the back, it's really quite piling up. And it's just what's left over from the hay bales that used to live in here. So this little back area, if I scrape all this up, this is so much. As you get here, my feet are buried. This is like inches and inches. And you can see the golden stuff on the top. It's really yellow. And then just underneath, it turns to more of the brownie colour. The browner it is, the better. <laughs> so I'm going to pick up my tools, go fetch the quad and go around a different way. And see if I can stop Barney going through the cow fence because there's some cows just behind there. But... throw a load of hay on top. Um, it'll help keep the moisture in, help break it up, and eventually I'll put some compost in here. This one's going to be bushes and pretty flowers, and some edibles on the bushes hopefully, and maybe while the bushes 
in things that will become big are quite small. I might plant other little bits of veg around them in the meantime. So now to top this off with hay. And there we have it. Two areas covered with hay. So I've just come to relax on the sofa. Barney's come up to join me. And this is what he's decided to do. <laughs> Barney? Is that necessary right there? Just look in his ass right there. Doesn't he have any dignity? <laughs> <laughs>